Hey, what's up, day, everybody? This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borek, and this is going to be the key takeaways from the great 4-3 thriller of a win that the Flyers started off great in the first period, had a bad killer second period in a bad way again, and then were average in the third period. That was kind of even between both teams. Um, but they were, of course, able to pull it out as they were able to get a fortunate goal by Joel Farabee, which was the game-tying goal. Um, of course, in that third period that we will get to in a minute. That was Farabee's eighth of the season. He also had a great chance early, Farabee, in the first period that hit the post, and the Flyers were, um, or are 29, going into this game, they were 29-14-2 and four lifetime at home versus the Senators. So now they move up to having 30 wins lifetime at home versus the Senators. And then Cates also looks solid in this game in his limited ice time, having a couple of nice chances. He had one at the 17-27 with that left to go in the first period. And then the Flyers did come out buzzing in this game. Um, there was a nice pass from Limblom to G, a spectacular pass. Nice is an understatement uh, for the goal after Yandel sent the puck in. And then G moved into um, tied for second all-time in points. So congratulations to Claude Giroux for that. Uh, the team showed up with massive jumps in the first. Um, Jones did not need to make a save until there was 6.20 left in the first period. So talk about a killer start in the first period. Uh, Farabee had a couple of nice chances in the first, and Lindblom put a blast on Forsberg. Uh, that was another apple from TK as it hits off a Shabbat stick. I don't know what the heck Tomas Shabbat was doing there. Was a killer in this game. Absolute star of the game for the Senators. Played over 35 minutes, but not good on that play as he deflected past his own goaltender because he put his stick out for some reason, but very good for the Flyers. Um, Flyers doubled sends and shots 14-7 to in the first period. So, like I said, was a killer <clears throat> first period for our Philadelphia Flyers. And then Limblum also rescued Jones late in the first, even making a save after having a killer first period with the goal and the assist. Uh, he was able to make a save then at the end to rescue Jones. Unfortunately, though, in the second, Stutzel was able to score on the short side on one that Jones would definitely want back. You could tell from his reaction. You could just tell from the way the puck went in. You want to be able to cover your post better there. Um, and Flyers had a power play of 17-18 to go in the second. That came up short, unfortunately, which gave the Sens further momentum at that point in the second period. And it also gave up a shorty because of Keith Yandel making a terrible play uh, that turned it over to four men in for them to be able to then get the goal. Um, then there was a bad penalty by Braun because he overskated and tripped the person, not picking up that there was somebody back for the Philadelphia Flyers as forward to cover the defenseman. So he ends up getting a tripping penalty. Um, unfor or unfortunately, uh, the Flyers were able to kill that off. And then also there was a great fight by McEwen where he pumped up the crowd. That was great to see. McEwen's a great player, pumps up the crowd like this, kind of an old school fighter. You'd love to see that in the kid, Zach McEwen there. Um, the Flyers did not convert on the power play to round out the second period, even though they did have a few chances that were stopped by Anton Forsberg, who played a solid game in net for the Ottawa Senators and has been playing very well this season since coming up himself after being a journeyman in his career in terms of the NHL level and a solid AHL goaltender. Early in the third period, Ennis was going to give the, uh, the Senators the lead if it was not for Ristolainen blocking the shot early in that period. So that was huge. And then Jones made a spectacular save on Tomas Shabbat as well, where he kicked his leg out where Shabbat had a mini breakaway there. And then there was also a missed call um, where TK was shoved into the wall in the third period that I thought could have been called. I thought there was also a missed call in overtime. Um, but or Tam Zub, that goal, that's nothing more than Jones could have done about that. The Formington goal, there was not much more than Jones could have done about it either. That was a terrible play by Yandel, as I said. The only goal on Jones is really the Stuchla goal, where he was able to pick a spot, not even bad defense by uh, Risto, but Jones came off the post. If he was on the post, that wouldn't have been a goal. Um, Zub, though, slapped it home as it was a good screen in front. And that is what was able to give the Senators the lead at the time. And then the Flyers, fortunately, get great puck luck as Joel Fairby tries to send it across ice. But then it ends up going off of a send and into the net. So, hey, you take goals any way they can get, right? 
And then in overtime, Cam Atkinson on a great pass by G had a very good chance prior to him being able to get the puck as there was a line change being made. Cam Atkinson was able to get the puck off of the boards, pass it to Travis Sanheim, who's looked brilliantly better um, since Mike Yo's come in, as well as Oscar Lindblom. So both of those guys look great. Wilman, who's unfortunately on code protocols, look great, as well as Morgan Frost, who's out as well, have looked good in the couple games they played with Yo. But these guys have really jumped up and stepped up their pace, and Atkinson looks revived and rejuvenated just like the beginning of the season again. So it's exciting to see that. This was not a great, clean, complete game from the Flyers. Again, as my closing points came out fantastic in the first, were able to get the two goals, were very bad in the second period, played a solid third period, and then Zub was able to get it on the screen in front, got a fortunate puck luck where we were able to have the goal by Farabee, and then you were in his first game back, so that's nice for him to be able to keep his good streak going as well. And then we were able to have a very nice play by Cam Agassin, who deserved that assist because he had a hell of a game. And then Sanheim deserved that goal, who had a hell of a game as well. So this has been the key takeaways from the Flyers. Four to three shootout, or shootout, overtime win. I said shootout because that's what the Phantoms lost in the same score, four to three last night. So that was weird. But four to three overtime win as Travis Sanheim pots a very nice goal from Cam Atkinson. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and go Flyers.